What is going on everyone? I got an installation video here to share with all of you. I'm gonna be replacing my ethernet network card that's installed down there, which right now is this one. It's a 10 by 100 ethernet network card. I'm going to be replacing it with this Roswell Gigabit PCIe LAN card, which supports 10 by 100 by 1000. I will link this card in the description below to Amazon. It is 10 to $12 if you're interested. It is plug and play and it's compatible with Windows 10. So real quick, the reason I'm making this video is because my my internet service provides me 250 meg download speed and about 10 to 12 for upload speed. And right now using this card right here, I'm only getting about 90 meg for my download speed. Basically does not meet the specs of my new internet service, which supports 250 meg download speeds. This could actually impact some of you pretty severely if you don't have the correct stuff installed or at least up to date with certain things. So stay tuned in this video because I'm doing a comparison here later in the video of my wireless internet which maxes out over 250. I'll show you this one, how much it does and how much this one does. So we're gonna do a complete comparison video and you might find it very helpful. I unplugged everything. You wanna make sure you have it completely powered down before you play around in here. And then all you really need to do is some of you may have, this is the other thing, I never know what some of you are running in your system. You might have older ones, you might have newer generation, but mine, I just like pop these things here off. And then all you really need to do is just pull it out nice and straight. So once you get this old one out, now you're ready to install the new one. So once you get your new card out, all you need to do is carefully plug it down in there nice and evenly into the slot. Now I'm putting mine in the PCIe Express 1 slot, but mine are 2.0 slots, and I know they support up to 500 meg one way. You can install this thing into the larger slots, but I'm leaving mine open for video capture card, and of course, bigger things, maybe a sound card, something like that. They actually support upwards of closer to a gig. This one will be efficient for me, so you do need to know kind of what you're plugging into, although it is pretty much compatible with anything, but you do want to take a look at your motherboard specs to know what your speeds are and what generation of PCI Express ports you're plugging into. Okay, so once you get that thing in place, you just give it a push and it pushes right down in that slot. That's all you really need to do. You can put your screw back in there. Me, I just flip that little plastic thing back down and it snaps in place. I'm gonna jump over real quick and we'll watch the video now of the comparisons and how much of a difference or impact something like this can have on your download speeds. So right now my internet service is supposed to be 250 meg download and 10 to 12 upload speed. You'll see that the download speed is nothing even close to that. What I'm testing right now is my gaming PC, which has a network card installed that's by StarTech and it's a 10 by 100 card. So I'm guessing that's probably the issue right here. And originally my onboard LAN port was struck by lightning. That's why I got that card. But since then the internet speeds have increased and I forgot to upgrade my card. So that might be my issue here and that's what I'm working on. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like on the iPhone 7 now when I run a test with wireless. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this test iPhone 7 Plus, same Chrome, well, it's the mobile Chrome browser, same Xfinity speed test as I did on the desktop and look at the difference. A huge, huge increase. And I also had the internet provider here this morning and they told me that everything coming into my place is fine. So yeah, a big difference there. Okay, so now for the final test of the new Roswell Gigabit network card. Let's see what it comes out to now. Wow, look at it go. What a difference. In the beginning of this, when I tested that StarTech card, it was 90.1 if you pull back the video and watch. Now look what it finishes at, 277.9. What a big difference in download speeds installing this new gigabit card. Okay, everyone, thanks a lot for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button and share it. I hope it helps someone out. Like I said, it could be critical with your internet speeds and all. It's something to consider. So if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this, leave comments below. I appreciate all you guys watching and I hope to see you soon. Have a good one.